I want you to talk us through yeah. your recollection of what unfolded with those events. So firstly, I want the one with Sam Warburton and then secondly, with Scott Williams. Um, Sam Warburton. Um, do you know what? I think that was more... So in the week leading up to that game, obviously you pick out guys um, who are talisman, um, really important to, to Wales or, or the team you're playing against. Um, guys you kind of want to focus on um, in terms of your game plan and, and things like that, especially in your, your defence. Um, guys you want to give time and space to, guys you want to send a message to the rest of their teammates you know, by hitting them hard and giving them no time and space. And he was one of those guys, obviously being the captain, We'd, we'd um, uh, targeted as, as a talisman, um, so he wanted to get in his face. Um, there was question marks about his, um, maybe his toughness, if, if uh, that's the right thing to say. Not from me, more... Uh, I can say it now, um, Mike, if I've, we're six years down the line now, so it's all right, Phil. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I think he's a tough player, so... Um, there was question marks of, of whether he would... He would um, fold on under a bit of pressure, a bit of um, physical uh, intimidation. Nothing, nothing um, above the line and, and illegal. And the player, be, be the, the way I am as a player and things like that. Obviously, that sticks in your mind. And a little, uh, a little, um, not really a scrap. It was a bit of a push and shove. Kicked yeah. off. I think I had you by the scruff of the neck, Brown, and pulling him off him. Yeah, but. Yeah, well, but it didn't start with me. This is the thing. I think someone else, I don't know who, who started the little um, pushing and shoving. But then I, obviously I saw him sort of on the peripheral of, of the uh, of the scuffle. And I thought, well, I'm going to grab hold of him. And, and, and if they see the the fullback grabbing your captain, your, your back row, you know, it might, ha- you know, might have a little impact on them and, um, and see that we're up for the game. Because I, I, for one, was massively up for the game. I always am against Wales. You know, it's a massive rivalry. Um, they are for us and, and vice versa for me. So, you know, I got a hold of him and, um, yeah, again, it's just silly little pushing and shoving and, you know, then Doc comes in um, throwing his weight around and making it worse. So, um, yeah, it's just part of the game and, and uh, you can laugh about it afterwards. And they had, the, they had the last laugh at the end of the day, didn't they? So they went on and, and, and won the game and made us look silly. So sometimes that's just the way it goes. And then... Um, yeah, I guess the Scott Williams one. Um, I'm guessing you're talking about when he nearly scored in the corner. That was Underhill's cover, you know, unbelievable cover tackle, wasn't it? I took a bit of heat after the game because obviously when he didn't score, I was pretty pleased, um, as you would be. And if it was vice versa, and there has been times against Wales and other other teams as well, when you do something wrong, you give away a penalty, you knock on, you make a mistake, you know, the, the other team let you know about it and and happy you've done that or you know, get in your face about it. And I think it's just one of them for me, you know, Scott, uh, Jamie knows him better than I do, but when I played against him, he's a kind of like me where, you know, he doesn't take a backward step. He, he gives a bit of chat, um, gets in your face. Um, all things are all part of the game for me. And, and um, you know, I enjoy, I, lo- I enjoy that physical confrontation. I, I enjoy that challenge from the opposition and he's that sort of player as well. And he's done it to me in, in the past, nothing nothing major. Um, so obviously I, I was happy with it that he didn't score and um, made sure he could see that I was. Well, Jamie, what are your memories of that 2015 World Cup match? Did Mike really just, you know, was he not the instigator or what can you remember from it? No, he's always the instigator. We hate oh, Mike in Wales. Uh, nice, nice. No, he's a very fiery, he's a very fiery <laughs> bloke. And, you know, that's a testament to his competitiveness. Um, and he shows that emotionally a lot of players have that in a fire and they're quite reserved with it. But Mike is always one of those players. And certainly before before I moved to Quinns, um, he was always one of those players where you're thinking, right, this guy is he's quite easy to wind up. He's a fiery bloke. But then, you know, obviously I moved to Quinns, I got to know, got to know you quite well. Uh, and he learned that, that that was probably your main strength. Um, it's just the way you were on the rugby field and the way you are. You're competitive, you're driven. Um and and yeah, it's it's in your makeup, isn't it? Uh, and it's part of the game. It's it's awesome. I think rugby is a is a place for people of all. You know, some of the best players I've played with are, are proper angry people, and then some of the other best players I've played with are, are very reserved people. They're very quiet. They don't say much and don't really show much emotion as well. So uh, yeah, there's space for everyone. <laughs> 